Hi everybody. Well, this should be a relatively quick and short video. You have my PC back here, my main streaming rig. That's also my secondary backup editing rig. And one of the things I ran into when I was doing streaming uh, last week was the lack of USB 3.0 ports, actually lack of USB ports in general. I have a number of cameras and I have multiple mics and I have other devices that I like connected up through USB. And this one just does not have, it's a good motherboard, this Asus uh, X570 tough motherboard, but it just doesn't have enough of them. So I do have a hub on there, but the hub does, does not get good bandwidth or it has to share the actual throughput between the multiple devices you have connected to it. So an alternative to that, since I have a spare PCIe X1 or times one slot is to put a little card in there. So what I was able to do to buy this card relatively cheap, I'll put the link down below underneath uh, this video in the notes. It provides four additional USB 3.0 ports or connectors. Three of them are using the type A and the fourth one has a type C connector to it. So I haven't tested this at all yet. I've just opened it up for the first time here. It's a, it's a sort of low end device in terms of cost. It's from a Chinese manufacturer. Let me see if I can get the name out for you, but you will see it in the link below. Yiliya. Okay. Didn't cost that much. Has decent reviews on Amazon. So I thought it'd be something worthwhile getting. I'm going to put this into the spare PCI times one slot. Now keep in mind a PCIe types one slot, it has some real limitations. You can't put really high speed devices in there. Things like a Elgato 4K60 or even a 10 gig ethernet card. You tend to be limited to things like a wireless adapter and, and this PC already has wireless built onto the motherboard and other small devices like that. So it's gonna stay free forever unless I use it. But as long as I'm in there, I have this serial connector. It's really just a PCI jack for an RS-232, that's the international standard for a serial port on a PC. Very few people are going to have a need for this. It's if you're doing things like uh, electronic experiments or you have a lot of network equipment that you might want to connect through through an alternate path. Say, suppose the network were to die on you and you're trying to troubleshoot it or just configure it if the thing got out of whack somehow. A serial port allows you to do that. The serial cables are relatively cheap. I even have a bunch of stuff to make a few if I want to, but there happens to be a connector for this on that motherboard. So I have these. I bought this in a package of four. And again, I'll put the link down below. I took the thing apart, disconnecting these two screws and painted it black pretty good. So it matches, you know, most of the other aspects aesthetically within the case, not just for this one, but I have the same thing in like three of my other PCs. So I'm going to put that in there as long as I'm in there playing with things. I am not, obviously there's no box opening here. The thing does come with an instructions, which I won't use. It comes with some screws. It comes with an adapter. If I was going into a low profile type PC, which this is not, and there happens to be a CD ROM with it which I'm not going to use. Uh, hopefully, and I believe it will based upon what I read online, it should automatically be recognized by Windows 10. So let me go ahead and open this guy up and put it in there and then I'll do a quick test. I'll actually bring up devices that I know re require USB 3.0 speed, connect it up and see how it goes. I'll start by removing these two PCIe slot covers because I'm going to put something in each one of them. So both of these come out. I'm going to be putting based upon the orientation of the slot. The slot is for the very bottom opening here on the case. That's where the card will go. However, the nine pin serial port connector will go in the one above that. So I'll start by putting that one in first since I'm going to have to hide the cable somewhat underneath that particular connector. So that's in. And the connector is actually down in here on the bottom of on the motherboard, right down in here. So I'll connect that one up. It's one pin is, is not in there. So I have to see there's the one pin that's missing, just like on the actual connector. Unfortunately, there is no guide on this. So I have to plug it in the correct way. Now I won't be showing how to test this out in this video. That's a future video I have planned where I'm going to be using this to connect to a network device that has a backup connection through a nine pin RS32 serial port. And now I got to put the card in. Now I'm going to have to make it so that this part here is sort of underneath the card. That's the best way to go. So I'll push this up out of the way like this. And that way I can put the pin, which by the way, if you look at the card, it has a lot of room right here. 
to allow us to put something like that cable through there. So it works out perfectly. Let's get this one in. And there we go. Push this cable sort of back out of the way for now, and I will dress it later with a nice cable tie. So both cards are in, or one card and one connector. Okay, I'm back up into Windows right now. Let's see if we can identify this. If I come over here to this PC and I right click on it, pick Manage, it opens up the management portal for that. Go into Device Manager. It's warning me that I'm not administrator, so I can't change anything. Let's come all the way down to this universal serial bus. And right here, prior to adding that card, I only had one USB composite device. Now I've got five of them, so it does see it. Let's see what happens if I insert a USB stick. So the USB stick I'll be inserting, it is a high-speed camera SD card meant for 4K from Sony, very high speed. It should pretty much approach the max speed of a USB 3.0 port. And I put it inside of a converter that converts from SD card to USB type A, which is also 3.0. So let me plug this in and see what happens. Oh, it's recognized. It has nothing on it right now. That's why it looks like this. It's drive F, standard, first USB installed on this particular PC happens to be drive F. What I will do is let me go ahead and run Crystal Disk Mark. Now, Crystal Disk Mark, if I were to run it and I only have a USB 2.0, it runs at under about 10 megabits per second. A 3.0 should exceed 10 times that. So let's see what happens. Okay, here's Crystal Disk Mark. It's already set for Drive F, I guess, the last time I used it. So let me just click All here and see what kind of speed we get out of that port. Wow, 90 megabits per second, megabytes per second, excuse me. It's going up from there, it's still not done calculating. So that is definitely USB 3.0 speed. And if you notice, that's about two thirds the speed of an actual hard drive that was connected to a SATA connector. It doesn't compare with a SSD, but a hard drive would be about 140 to 150 uh, megabytes per second. So we know it works. Now I can connect my other cameras to it and see what happens. And there we go, works fine. Move it around here in the room, looks good. Okay, so the uh, USB 3.0 card that I put into this PC works just fine. Now I can take off one of the hubs that I have on there, which I don't like hubs to start with. Well, that completes this quick little upgrade to my PC here, my main streaming PC. Now I have four extra USB 3.0 ports that seem to work fine. I can also, which I've already done, take off this little hub that I had. It was a 3.0 hub, but quite honestly, it didn't perform well. When I did that same test on one of these ports with that particular SD card, I was getting like one third the speed from it because this thing has to share the bandwidth between these ports and the one single connector that it's going to. So that's gone. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, it would help if you at least consider subscribing to my channel and then you could see future videos like this where I make other changes to this PC, possibly, none planned right now, but you never know, or when I do my future bills, which I have a number of them lined up. Matter of fact, the very next one will probably be on my live stream that takes place one week from today. So hopefully you can join me. Well, until the next video or until that live stream, take care, be safe, and please, again, be healthy.